Well, welcome to the 700 Club. The Senate has voted down a Republican budget plan. The measure included Congressman Paul Ryan's blueprint to reform Medicare. Some liberals argue that voters are scared by the Republican plan, and they say a special election in New York this week proves that. Ephraim Graham has the story. Democrat Kathy Hochul beat a Republican and a third party candidate in a special election in one of New York's most conservative congressional districts. And many political analysts say her victory may have come down to one key issue. Republican Jane Corwin supports a budget that essentially ends Medicare. That would be Republican Congressman Paul Ryan's budget plan, which does reform Medicare in the long term, but does not impact Americans 55 and older today. It reduces Medicare's cost by eventually replacing the system with one where seniors would buy government subsidized private insurance. I think New York 26 tells Republicans that the end of Medicare is bad policy and bad politics. Republicans blame Tuesday's loss on the third party candidate, who they say drains support from their candidate. But yeah, Democrats claim the special good. election is proof. Voters are worried about Republicans' plans to reform Medicare. And when the Ryan budget plan, including the Medicare reform plan, came up for a vote in the democratically controlled Senate Wednesday, Democrats and five Republicans rejected it. People may not like the plan, but it fixes the problem. It gets the debt paid off, it balances the budget. Ryan defended his plan Wednesday at a meeting on the federal budget. And on the same stage, former President Bill Clinton criticized it. I applaud Congressman Ryan for making a suggestion, but I think on the merits it doesn't work. Still, the former president whispered some surprising support for the Republican when the two met backstage. The president even offered to talk more later because both agree something has to be done. Ephraim Graham, CBN News. Well, coming out of the special election, we, we now see one of the major issues that's going to frame the races in, in 2012, and that is Medicare, uh, the entitlement programs. And any attempt to try to cut them is going to be met with some pretty extreme uh, ads, like the one we saw, where um, you have uh, grandma in a wheelchair being pushed over a cliff. Well, here's a visual for you. We've got Uncle Sam in a wheelchair, and he's getting ready to go over a cliff if we don't solve our budget problem. And that means both parties have to get together and work out real changes and real solutions so we're not spending ourselves into historical oblivion. I've heard from both Republicans and Democrats in the past few weeks that it would be okay for the U.S. government to miss some of its payments. Well, if we were to do that, this isn't like, you know, pushing a credit card bill month to month. If we were to do that, the credit rating on those bonds changes. And when you're dealing with 14 trillion in debt, well, just a 1% change in the interest rate on 14 trillion is 140 billion. So when we start talking about a deficit and rising interest rates that would go to four or 5%, 6%, multiply 140 billion by six, and that becomes the interest that we pay on the federal debt. This is something where we've all got to get together and look at eligibility for Medicare, eligibility for Social Security, not ch changing the benefit, but changing the number of Americans that receive the entitlement payment. Somebody working at a job making $100,000 a year, if they're age 65, why should we pay them Social Security? If, if there's other means of income for them, uh, we need to take a look at that. Otherwise, Uncle Sam's in that wheelchair and he's going over the cliff. Lee Webb has the rest of our top stories from the CBN newsroom. Lee? Gordon, powerful storms and tornadoes once again tore through middle America Wednesday. Dozens of people were injured in Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri, but thankfully, no one was killed. Buildings are total damage. They're all, they're all gone. And the, uh, what was in them, we're trying to salvage as much as we can, but there's a lot of damage. Material things can be replaced, people can't, so that's the good thing. More than 100 tornadoes have touched down across the U.S. this month alone. Yesterday's storms followed a deadly outbreak Tuesday that killed at least 15 people. Sunday, the nation's deadliest tornado in more than 60 years hit Joplin, Missouri. The death toll there has reached 125. That number could go higher. About 14,000 residents still have no power there. 
The task ahead for all 50,000 Joplin residents seems insurmountable, but as Chuck Holton reports, there is no shortage of help and resolve. Cleaning up after the tornado that hit Joplin on Sunday is going to be a mammoth undertaking. Federal, state, and local officials are getting off to a good start with the help of thousands of volunteers who continue to stream in from around the country. This Marine was home on leave before deploying to Afghanistan in a few weeks. I'm here on pre-deployment right now with my family and the tornado just destroyed everything so I felt that it was just my civil duty just to come in and help out as much as possible before I actually go overseas. A command center near the damaged hospital coordinates where each team will operate. Church groups around the city have become feeding centers that are distributing aid to those in need. While many of the survivors that are showing up at these distribution centers have lost friends and loved ones, one thing they can't get here is closure. That's going to come from a specially equipped team that's out searching for many of the hundreds of people who are still missing. And they're employing some four-legged friends for help. We've been to Oklahoma City bombing, 9-11, Katrina, and now Joplin, Missouri. Missy Epperson started the Mid-America Canine Search and Rescue in 1995. The team of medical professionals and other volunteers responds to disasters with dogs specially trained to sniff out people who are trapped beneath the rubble. When they heard about the devastation in Joplin, they knew they had to go. We mount up, we tell where we're going to meet at, and give a central location, and that's where we go. And their efforts are paying off. This man has the team to thank for rescuing him after two days trapped in his basement. The needs here will continue long after the last missing person is accounted for. That's why Operation Blessing is in Joplin, making arrangements to help the residents here rebuild for the long term. Jody Geddes is the director of U.S. Disaster Relief. Operation Blessing is delivering truckloads of food and water, but in addition to that, we're actually going to be running volunteer teams to help the residents directly begin to recover the contents of their homes, remove the debris so they can begin to rebuild their lives. We come into a community, we work with the local churches, helping empower them because they know the needs better than we do as outsiders. So we begin to work together as the body of Christ to serve the community in, in the best way possible. Chuck Holton, CBN News in Joplin, Missouri. Amen. And uh, Gordon, I salute that Marine. He's home on leave before he deploys to Afghanistan, yet he shows up in uniform and his rucksack on and, and chips in to help there. That's amazing. Uh, it's amazing what, what Americans can rise when they rise to the occasion. It's amazing what we can all do together. Um, and if you want to help, if you want to be a part of doing this together, uh, we're shipping in food, we're shipping in water, we're shipping in disaster relief supplies. If you want to be a part of it, all you have to do is join the 700 Club. We're a lot more than just a TV show. When disasters strike, we want to strike back. When people are in need, we want to help. We want to let them know God loves them. We love them. And together, we can pull through this. So if you want to be a part of it, all you have to do is join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Because of the pace of disasters in the world today, it's, it's stretching our resources thin. So. We're, we're really asking for people to commit with us to say, OK, we'll be there uh, month after month. That allows us to build reserves so that when disasters strike, we can be there and help people in need. So if that's you, if you want to be a part of it, just call us or you can speed your gift by giving through CBN.com. Uh, when you give on the Internet, it comes in automatically and, and instantly. So uh, if you want to do that, uh, go to CBN.com. Terry? Well, up next, a couple is overwhelmed by bills and debt until they made an investment that solved their financial crisis. Hear what they did. That's next. Is there life after death? And I began to rise out of my body up into that room. Are heaven and hell real places? I can see fields, crystal clear river, trees along both sides. What determines where I go when I die? I knew that the first person I saw was Jesus. Discover the answers to life's most important questions in the 700 Club's Life Beyond the Grave. Real stories from the 700 Club. Available now. Like many young couples, Lance and Brittany started their married life in debt. They were overwhelmed by student loans and credit card bills until they made a decision that revolutionized their finances. 
After Lance McCoy asked Brittany to marry him, they began to plan the wedding and their life together. They agreed to consolidate their finances during their engagement. They both agreed tithing was important, but they never seemed to have enough to pay their bills. It would go back and forth. I'd tell Lance, I'd say, hey, we really need a tithe. And he'd say, well, I really need gas, so it's not going to happen. Bills would just pile up, uh, you know, late fees on credit card payments or, you know, uh, something goes wrong with the car, we couldn't afford to fix it. As expenses piled up, Brittany and Lance stopped giving altogether. We are paying bills and bills and bills and there's nothing extra. What are we doing wrong? What aren't we doing? We're not tithing. And it just was the little light bulb moment. Oh, that thing, <laughs> the thing that we've been trying to do that we've been a little bit uh, you know, chaotic about, um, he finally got our attention. Both Lance and Brittany knew God was speaking to them about their giving. God got our attention about three months and said, I want you to increase what you're giving. Don't just, I want you to give me something that I know that is a little bit of a sacrifice for you. Once Lance and Brittany started tithing, their financial problems turned into financial blessings. You're giving away money, but in the same sense, God is really providing for you and, and blessing you in, in another way that's just so much more. Lance and Brittany give $40 a month to CBN, and Brittany loves Operation Blessing. They're able to use a portion of what little we're giving right now to do such a great big thing. It just touches our hearts. It's just so amazing to be able to be a part of that. The great thing about CBN is that they have the power to reach everybody in the world, whereas we're just kind of an isolated area. Together, we've grown as a couple because we've chosen to tithe, and I know that God has blessed that. And it was very freeing because once we finally just let go and let God take over and give Him back what is already His, that He's already provided in the first place, and just trust Him enough to say, I give this back to you, He's just going to unleash all the blessings that you can think of. It's amazing. He will unleash blessing. Here's a promise. It's from 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Remember this. A farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. For God loves the person who gives cheerfully, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty to share with others. All you have to do is just start and say, yeah. Uh, if, if God's asking me to, re, to, to tithe, it's all His anyway. He's the one that gave me the ability to earn money. Uh, if I give back 10%, well, I'm just giving back to Him. And if He'll increase that and multiply it, well, then that's a good deal. On well, this next story, just a few years, Vu Tran went from scraping by on minimum wage to running his own business. Here's how he did it. Vu Tran has a lot to be thankful for. He has a beautiful family and owns a thriving aquarium business, and he often has more work than he can handle. Compare that with life a few years ago, and you get a pretty different picture. I had a minimum wage job that was paying, but I was barely making ends meet, and it was, uh, uh, was kind of tough just, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. Vu was a new Christian then and watched the 700 Club as much as possible. That's where he heard a message on money. As you plant seed, Jesus says, if you give, it'll be given unto you. One of the key principles I learned from Pat was the law of reciprocity that he taught on how that if you give, God will give back unto you. There are certain months that I did struggle, and that was really took a lot of faith to write that check out to CBN. But you know what? I was obedient to God and, and uh, obedient to the principle of giving. Vu began praying for a way to get out of his minimum wage job, cleaning aquariums at a pet store. During that time, there was a housing market boom, so people were putting an expensive aquarium in their houses. So on my days off, people would always ask me, Vu, what are you doing? Uh, come help clean my tank. Come help me set up my tank. On my days off, I would be making more money on my days I've worked, so figure that one out. Vu started his own aquarium cleaning business, which was an instant moneymaker. I don't even advertise, and I have so much work that I couldn't even handle that I had to hire people to help me out. Because the Bible says that once you give, the Lord will bless you. And not only that, but He'll cause men to heap unto your bosom. That's people supporting what you do, supporting what you sell, and um, supporting your business. 
Vu's servicing business made so much profit, he was able to go into retail as well and opened a store. He also increased his giving to CBN and joined the 2500 Club. As I started increasing my level of giving, I saw how God had blessed my business and opened up other doors. The more level of faith I took, I saw more results, how God had blessed and prospered. Today, Vu makes 10 times more than he did when he worked his minimum wage job. I encourage people to take that leap of faith and write out that check and bless God's kingdom. God will bless you back in ways that you can't even imagine. Here's the scripture that Vu was quoting, and these are the words of Jesus. It's from Luke chapter 6. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Now, Vu took the step. He said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give. And then he did something else that I think is really important. He went and asked God, he prayed, and said, Lord, I, I need a way out of a minimum wage job. And then God gave it to him. And people started asking him, Vu, what are you doing this weekend? Could you come help me this weekend? And then he got the bright idea, well, I can start doing this and make more money than I am in the minimum wage job, and I can start my own business. And then that led him back into his own retail store. God gives you the power to get wealth. He gives it by giving you ideas. And when you call to him and ask him, Lord, I need that, I need that idea, and then wait on him to give you the answer, he'll do it. What does it take to kickstart all of this? Well, starting to give. And Vu learned that, and you can learn it too. You can do it too. God's not a respecter of persons. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. Now, if I can get a drum roll, we've got some great news. Some existing CBM partners, just like Vu said, we love giving, and we want to challenge others to give because we found it's the pathway to more. Uh, it's the pathway to prosperity when we obey what God does. And so for the next 30 minutes, they'll match whatever you give up to $175,000. Let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to issue this challenge and for those watching right now. Just ask that you would speak to them and comfort them and encourage them. Do it now, Lord, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. You heard it, $175,000. What we're asking you to do is start an adventure with giving. It's one of the, the only place where we're able to test God, to prove Him. It's in our giving. And so we're asking you to join the 700 Club. Join with what we're doing. Join with what we're doing in, in Joplin to help people there. Join with what we're doing around the world through CBN World Reach to preach the gospel to people that have never heard it before. Join with what we're doing right here on the 700 Club. You can be a part of everything we do by just joining the 700 Club. How much is that? It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you say, well, I can give more. Uh, we've got 700 Club Gold for you. That's $40 a month, and there's 1,000 Club. That's $1,000 a year, and that's $84 a month. 2,500 Club is 2,500 a year. Founder, $5,000 a year, and then $10,000 is Chairman's Circle. At whatever level God is speaking to you to give, now's the time to call us. 1-800-759-0700. Let's go to Christy at the phone. Thank you so much, Gordon. You know, one of the things I absolutely love to talk about is my son. And the thing I love about him is he's always asking questions like, Mommy, how was this made or where did this come from? You know, many of us are just like him. We're just like kids. There are a lot of questions we have. Now, have you ever thought about this? The ultimate question, which is this, where do we go when we die? Well, check this out. We have a new DVD called Life Beyond the Grave that will tell you of people who've actually died and come back to share their experience. Take a look. And I remember them hauling him away and him just yelling at me, Daddy, don't let him take me. When they got me into the hospital, I could feel myself coming out of my body. I could hear them talking. I knew my body was dying. I began falling and falling. And then I see this tunnel of light. I was in a place of total torment. Some angels came and flew me up to heaven. First person I saw was Jesus. As I looked towards the face of the Lord, you knew if he spoke, constellations, galaxies would come into existence. God came down from heaven, and now I had entered into a place of love and light.
I learned that heaven is for real and you're gonna like it. The 700 Club's Life Beyond the Grave, available now. Incredible. You know how just a couple moments ago I mentioned my son? Well, my son and I watched, uh, sat down and we watched this DVD and he did not blink. He did not get up. He did not ask me anything. He was enthralled in the stories of people who died, of actual accounts of people who died, went to heaven, went to hell and came back to share it. Listen, and at that point it started, it sparked a discussion between the two of us and he wanted to know more about heaven and hell and, and God and who he was to him. I tell you what, this DVD changed the life of my son. It could change your life as well. And it's our gift to you when you become a 700 Club partner. For just 65 cents a day, $20 a month, you will have in your hand the best tool that you will ever have to share the gospel. And that's why we need you to call right now. But this is where I, I love this part. You ready? Here we go. When you call in right now, we'll give you this to become a 700 Club partner. But if you call in and become 700 Club Gold, which is just $40 a month, we're gonna give you three. I'm serious, we're gonna give you three. You can take one, you give two away. Or if you say, maybe I want a couple more than that, we got you covered on that one too. 1,000 Club Partners, $84 a month, we will give you five DVDs. You keep one, you give four away. And what is it again? What are you giving away? You're not just giving away a DVD of people who've gone to heaven and hell, you're giving away life everlasting life for people to know who Jesus Christ is. So uh, what do you need to do? Call. <laughs> you need to pick up the phone and call that number, 1-800-759-0700, or log on to CBN.com. And why do you need to call? Because listen, you never know what tomorrow may bring. So just do it. If there's that little thump in your heart or that little, should I, should I not, just do it. Because I promise you, not only will your life change, but you can change the lives of others. Terry? Well, in one Chinese village, a single mother had to support her son on a salary of just $3 a day. So when he needed heart surgery, there was no way she could afford it. Then she met a team from CBN. For years, Mrs. Wang lived a simple life in a small village in China. But when her husband died from kidney failure, she had to leave her farm and move to the city to find a way to financially support her son. We spent a lot of money on medical bills in the last four years of my husband's life. I had to find some way to pay off the debt. So Mrs. Wang took a job as a groundskeeper, earning only $150 a month. She did her best to raise seven-year-old Yu Chao, but money was very tight. Then her son started having chest pains. Mrs. Wang took Yu Chao to the doctor, where she learned that his pain was caused by a severe heart condition. Without surgery to repair the hole in his heart, he would die. I had already lost my husband, and I couldn't bear losing my son too. But I didn't have any more money for surgery. Mrs. Wang asked the doctor if he knew anyone who could help. And he told her about CBN. Our CBN office contacted a Beijing hospital, and we quickly set up free heart surgery for Yu Chao. You can't imagine how happy I was when I heard that a CBN would help my son. Yu Chao recovered well from his surgery, and it wasn't long before he was able to go back to school. You turned our lives from bad to good. I can't stop going over it in my mind. Sabian saved my son's life. Thank you very much. I'm feeling good now. I don't feel any pain in my heart. Thank you, CBN. So many times in other parts of the world, we see parents who love their children dearly, but who are stuck in a struggle with poverty, and they can't take care of the needs of their children, not because they don't want to, it's literally not possible. When you join the 700 Club, you know what you do? You make it possible to come into the midst of that seemingly insurmountable endeavor and say, I can make a difference. We want you to be a part of the hope that's going out to people around the world. That's why we're asking you today to join the 700 Club. It's so simple, 65 cents a day, $20 a month is a general 700 Club membership. If you go to your phone right now and call, you can help us reach out to even more families like this. And when you call, will you do it using something we call Pledge Express? No matter what level of club membership you're joining, if you use Pledge Express, it's electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work and you don't have any of the hassle, but it saves us processing fees. 
charities. And so we can put even more of your gift into the lives of people like you just saw. When you do that, our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express is to send you Power for Life teachings. You'll get one of these every month. And we think it'll really add to your faith walk and that you'll be blessed by it. So call right now. Our number's toll free. It's 1-800-759-0700. You can also give by logging onto CBN.com. But do it now. We're in the middle of a challenge. And so that means if you call right now, Every dollar you give will be matched dollar for dollar up to and including $175,000. So we need to hear from you. Call, Gordon. Well, 10 years ago, Sierra Leone ended a bloody civil war that nearly tore the country apart. Now people there are working to rebuild their country, and CBN's Orphan's Promise is there to help. Here in Sierra Leone, people work very hard and make very little. I met a young man named Dennis who is an extremely hard worker. You see, Dennis has big dreams. Dennis lived with his mother, Taiwu, in this small house. His father abandoned the family when he was just a baby. They tried to make a living by selling charcoal for cooking, but they barely made 50 cents a day. There were times when I go to school without lunch. I have to beg my friends. Taiwu couldn't provide for her son, so she let him move into a children's home built by Orphan's Promise. She's right down the street, and she and her son are still very close. But at the children's home, Pastor Jacob and his wife are giving nearly two dozen children opportunities they can't find anywhere else. Here they have food and places to study. Dennis will have a chance to go to college and pursue his dream of becoming a lawyer. He says when he grows up, he wants to help people and take care of his mother. If we could help your mom, would you like to help us help her? Really? <laughs> we knew Tai Wu couldn't keep selling charcoal, so Dennis helped us give her a big surprise. An opportunity to start your own store. Dennis, is that a fresh beginning? Now you need a fresh beginning, right? I appreciate that. God bless you. Thanks to Orphan's Promise, Dennis can look forward to a bright future while still being close to his mother. And Tai Wu will be able to run a business from home and have a better life, too. Before we left, we had one last little surprise for Dennis. We saw the kids playing with an old, flat soccer ball, so we went out and got them a new one. Thank you, CBN, for building up a new home for children like us. I want to say big thanks to you. I was worried for Terry's safety at the end of that. <laughs> just, to, just imagine, all you have is yeah. that kind of deflated soccer ball to play with. That's all you have. Yeah. And when you come with, with just the simple things to say, here, uh, not a handout, but a hand up. Uh, we want to help you. We want to help you have a hope, have a future, uh, have a life that you can enjoy. You can be a part of that when you join the 700 Club. So if, if, you're, if you've been waiting, now's the time. Call us, 1-800-759-0700. Just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. And you reach out to people around the world, from Africa to India to Indonesia to China to South America, and right here at home in America. People are hurting here as well and Operation Blessing is there for them. We're feeding three million Americans every single month, delivering over 100 million pounds of food right here in the USA. So if you want to be a part of it, call us. 1-800-759-0700. If, if you say, you know, $20 a month, I can do that, but I could, I could do something more. We've got other club levels for you. It's called 700 Club Gold. Uh, that's $40 a month. Then there's a thousand club, that's eighty-four dollars a month. Twenty-five hundred club is twenty-five hundred a year. Founder five thousand dollars a year. At whatever level God is speaking to you, now's the time to call us. One eight hundred seven five nine zero seven hundred. Let's go over to Wendy at the phones. Wendy. Thanks, Gordon. Have you ever thought about what heaven's going to be like? Well, God says, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor mind even conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. But when you join the 700 Club, we'll send you a free copy of the new DVD, Life Beyond the Grave. You'll hear amazing stories from people like one little boy who died, went to heaven, and met family members he didn't even know he had. Is there a heaven? When I was in the throne room of God to start with, so I got to see what that looked like. 
I was upset because I didn't know what was happening. What God did is he used people that, people or things that I liked to calm me down. From there on, I felt better. Then one day we're traveling together and he looks up at me and, Dad, you used to have a grandpa named Pop, didn't you? I'm like, yeah, he's really nice. Really? Yeah, you used to play with him as a kid and fix, work with him on the farm and, and shoot stuff with him. And I'm like, yeah, how do you know that? Well, he told me. A figure came up and he was Pop. He asked me, are you Todd's son? I said, yes. He said that he was his grandpa. The fact is, we're all going to die. It's just a fact of life. But the good news is, in this life, God gives us a choice where we're going to spend eternity, with Him in heaven in total love and peace, or in hell in total torment. And contrary to popular belief, there are not numerous ways to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father except by me. You can't even get there with good works. None of us are good enough. But you know, in Life Beyond the Grave, you will meet many people who've been there. They've been to heaven, they've been to hell, and they've come back to say, choose heaven. Choose a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It's the only way. We want you to have this. This is a dynamic, it's not a teaching, it's stories of real people who went to heaven and hell, and we believe it's the perfect witnessing tool, a powerful witnessing tool that you can use for your family, your friends, your neighbors, everyone you've been praying for. This is the key that will unlock the door to even the hardest hearts. It's yours when you call right now, 1-800-759-0700. And when you join at the, four, at the uh, Gold Club level, which is $40 a month, we're going to send you three. So give us a call right now. Gordon? When June inherited her family business, she struggled to turn a profit. So she prayed for an idea that would help her earn more money. And the answer to June's prayer was right in her backyard. Spring at June Croon's nursery on Long Island is by far the most beautiful time of the year. Blooms are abundant, and it's the season for June to ship flowers to local garden centers. June admits when she first got into the nursery business, she struggled. She had inherited the nursery one fall but had no experience running such an operation and knew nothing about plants. There was a, a great deal of anxiety, especially being responsible now for the operation, having people rely on me. It stretched me to the very ends in every way, mentally, emotionally. I was stretched. June struggled through the first growing season, but one day while watching the 700 Club, she heard Pat Robertson advise her to give her money away. I just uh, went along with Pat's prompting and I, I just prayed to the Lord and I said, Lord, I want to be a really, uh, I want to be a big giver. And I didn't know how that was possible. Little did she know the answer to that prayer was in her own backyard. She found a flower blooming in the garden, a hybrid that had been created before June had taken over the business. So we tried to stump the experts and we asked some people and no one could identify it. And when nobody knew what it was, I said, OK, pot it up and we'll sell it. It's a very lovely plant. Then a horticulturalist heard about it and approached June about mass producing the flower and giving June a percentage of the profits. I'm a recipient of royalties. I had no idea it was where it was going to lead to. And now it's not just sold throughout our nation, but it's gone into Europe and Japan. June has received over $60,000 in royalties, and she's given half of it away. And her nursery is profitable, too. June has become the big giver she always wanted to be. God loves a cheerful giver, and the greatest thing is to be, have the means to be able to give to God, because it's exciting. <laughs> it is exciting when you give, and what happened with June can happen with you. She found it in her own backyard, and it was proof of this promise from Deuteronomy chapter 8. First part of it is, remember the Lord your God. Remember Him, for it is He who gives you the power to get wealth that He may establish His covenant. That is what He does. He gives you power to get wealth. He gives you the ability. He gives you the idea. He gives you that thing that's growing in your own backyard. Now, we've seen in the stories today Boutran, what he was already doing was the secret to his prosperity. 
except God didn't want him to have the minimum wage. God wanted him to own his own business. And here's June. She inherits this. Uh, she, she, it's, she's new to it. And she's wondering, how am I going to make all this work? And here she finds a hybrid growing in the backyard that she's able to then license and get royalty payments for. It's amazing what God will do for you when you say, okay, I'll trust you, I'll remember you, and I'll remember you with my finances. If you want to start doing that, if you want to start an adventure in giving, call us right now, 1-800-759-0700, and just say yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Uh, it's $20 a month, 65 cents a day. When you join, we encourage you to join via Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. Um, uh, the bank does all the work. There's no checks to write, nothing to mail in. We save so much on the processing we can send as our gift back to you. Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you want that, ask for Pledge Express when you call or just log on to CBN.com and you can do it automatically on the Internet. Terry? Well, Kevin was perfectly healthy when he was born, but just a few years later, this Ukrainian boy was on the verge of going blind. All the other kids make fun of me because I have crossed eyes. A doctor prescribed glasses for seven-year-old Kevin, but they didn't help. The doctor said without surgery, Kevin could go blind, but his parents couldn't afford it. There was no way we could ever save that much money. So we prayed for help. I asked God to get straight eyes for me, so nobody would make fun of me anymore. When CBN's Orphan's Promise learned about the little boy, we paid for his surgery. For just $300, his crossed eyes were fixed and his life was changed. When I walk down the street, I'm happy because nobody points at me. I have nice eyes now. Jesus blessed me, and nobody makes fun of me anymore. When he goes to school, I don't have to worry anymore. Thank you so much. You changed my life. Thank you for everything. You know, to hear a little boy talk about how he's isolated because of a problem that he had nothing to do with, and then to know that when that prayer goes up to God, when a little child says, God, please give me straight eyes, what a privilege that you and I can be a part of the answer to that prayer, that God says, I'm sending you. And that's what happens when you call and join the 700 Club. Your gift is being sent all around the world, all across the United States. It's hard to imagine because none of us could solve the issues that are in people's lives by ourselves. But together, we become a mighty army of love and compassion, and you're touching and changing the world with us. So go to your phone and call right now. Maybe some of you have already joined the 700 Club. 700 Club, why not consider today going up to 700 Club Gold? If you're a 700 Club Gold member with a gift of $40 a month, become a 1,000 Club member. Take God at His word when He says that when you reach out in faith and give as He's called us to do, that He will respond back and meet your need. It may be financial, it may be spiritual, it may be physical. Trust Him. Trust Him today. Call now. Join with thousands of others who are out to make a difference in the world. Our number's toll-free. It's 1-800-759-0700. You can also give by logging on to CBN.com. Gordon? Well, in Indonesia, CBN World Reach broadcasts a program called Seleucy. That means solutions in English. And recently, the show helped a Muslim wo woman find the solution to one of her biggest problems of her life. 42-year-old Wikwik grew up in Indonesia as a devout Muslim, but she never forgot her first real encounter with the power of Jesus Christ. That came when her Muslim parents took Wikwik and her brother to a Christian meeting to pray for healing. Wikwik's younger brother had been deaf since birth. The man said, those who are sick, put your hands on the sick place. My brother was deaf and mute. My mother put her hand on my brother's ears and my father put his hand on my brother's mouth. After the prayer, my brother turned to my parents and said, Mother, father, sister. He was healed. In spite of the miracle, Wickwick and her family continued in their Muslim faith. But for the next 30 years of her life, Wickwick wrestled inside with what she had witnessed. She wondered if being a more devout Muslim would help. In her search, Wickwick came across a Christian television program produced by CBN. One night, when I came home from work, I found Solusi. 
I had this desire to call CBN to talk to someone about the Christian faith. I wanted them to guide me. Wickwick says CBN Salusi gave her hope and she watched it regularly. She was sure she would never call for prayer, but she saved the number in her phone just in case. I was hesitant to call Solusi, but I was praying to God. I wondered if this was a way out of my problems by calling Solusi. Wickwick finally did call and a CBN prayer counselor encouraged her and prayed with her to become a Christian. We then helped her to find a local church. I feel like I have totally changed. Even my friends told me that I changed. Wickwick still prays for her little brother and her parents who are Muslim, and she encourages them to watch CBN Salusi whenever she can. I would like to say thank you to CBN that they can air this program in Indonesia. Because of CBN Indonesia, I am new person today. And because of you, she's a new person today. She found the solution for her life. If you want to be a part of everything we're doing, if you want to be a part of CBN World Reach, if you want to be a part of Operation Blessing, if you want to be a part of Orphan's Promise, just join the 700 Club, 1-800-759-0700, or you can log on to CBN.com. When you give through the Internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. Uh, that's electronic monthly giving. There's no checks to write, nothing to mail in. We save so much, we're able to send as our gift back to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you want that, uh, just ask for Pledge Express when you call. And also ask, when, when you call at any level, we want to send you this um, wonderful DVD of real life testimonies, eyewitnesses accounts of people that have died. Uh, and the, the doctors had them in, in one case, the, the man was in the morgue uh, when he woke up, people have died in hospitals and they've gone on journeys uh, and they've come back to tell us, yes, there's life after death. Yes, there is a heaven. Yes, there is a hell. And uh, these stories are fascinating. You, you want to get this. So call us 1-800-759-0700. Let's go to Christy at the phone. Thank you so much. You know, Gordon was just talking about this DVD that um, we have called Life Beyond the Grave. He was saying how fascinating the stories are. Let me tell you how this came about. A couple months ago, we actually did a series called Life Beyond the Grave, and it was stories of people going to heaven and hell. People loved it so much that our email box was full. Our phone lines were blowing up because people were like, how do I get that? How do I get those stories in my hand? Well, here it is, because the question is, we all want to know what life is like. We all want to know what heaven and hell is like. But check this out. In this, you'll be able to meet men and women who've actually been there. They've had glimpses of what heaven is like. They've actually escaped from hell and can talk about it. In fact, you can see what they have to say in this DVD called Life Beyond the Grave. What happens after we die? And I began to rise out of my body up into that room. I suddenly had an overwhelming sense of God's presence. An incredible journey. I saw every aspect of our life together. Who will we see? And I found myself falling through the air, and I landed in this actual prison cell. What will we see? Demons are tormenting people. They had absolutely no mercy. Hear from those who died. I was begging, don't let me go to hell. And return to tell their story. It started in the center of the room toward the ceiling, and I was immediately drawn to it. It was beautiful, just pure. I wanted to know this one who, when I knew without a doubt I was going to hell, came for me. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. A powerful tool to share your faith with others. The 700 Club's Life Beyond the Grave, available now. I tell you what, these stories are going to change your life. You know, I got saved when I was five years old after watching a film about hell. I was like, I'm not going there. That film had such an impact on my life that it changed my whole course of direction. This DVD can change your life too, or better yet, it could change the people's lives that you've been praying for. So we got to get this in your hand. We're able to do that when you become a 700 Club partner. So maybe you're one already, 65 cents a day, $20 a month. You want to take it up a notch to a 700 Club Gold, that's $40. We're going to give you three. You keep one, you give two away, or 1,000 Club. We're going to give you five DVDs for $84 a month. 
You keep one, you give four away to the neighbor, the brother, the sister, whoever is on that list that you've been praying for, this is the answer to that prayer. So call in right now. The number is 1-800-759-0700. I also want to say CBN.com. That's a fantastic way to give as well. Don't forget we're in the middle of a challenge and I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. If there's a tug on your heart or that tap on your shoulder and you want to give, but you keep thinking that someone else will pick up the phone. No, you do it. Step in the gap for that person who can't step there. Well, be in the gap for that person. You know what I'm saying. Just pick up the phone and call. <laughs> All right, I'm throwing it to Gordon. Gordon. I'm going to step in the gap for Christy right now. <laughs> We're in the middle of the challenge. Two minutes and eight seconds. It's $175,000. We need to stop that clock because the partners are saying we need to add to it. They want to add another $75,000, take it to $250,000, and give us to the end of the hour. Let's pray. Lord, we ask for a blessing for those who made it possible to increase this challenge. We just know your word over them is true. You will open windows in heaven and pour out blessings they cannot contain. And for those watching right now, just bless them, encourage them, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. $250,000 challenge, just 11 minutes to go to make it. We need to hear from you, so call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Let's check in with a red number. We've got 93,000 to go. Uh, that's a about 9,000 a minute, so we need to hear from you. Call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Well, if you lost your job today, how would you support your family? Well, here's how Paul and Pamela Cruz survived three months of unemployment without going into debt. Paul and Pamela Cruz enjoy hiking with their kids in their home state of Nevada. And after a long day outdoors, they relax in front of the 700 Club. I can't express it enough to people how much this show means to me. I tape it every day. I don't miss a day. Paul and Pamela are CBN partners and are faithful tithers, but there was a time when they just didn't think they could manage giving 10% off the top. Always concerned about the bills first. You know, you got to pay the power, got to pay the rent. Pay everything else first and then give God what's left over. But Pamela was learning what the Bible says about giving and told Paul how she felt about keeping tithing so low on the priority list. I came to him and I said, uh, I'm not comfortable with keeping tithing at the bottom. We need to trust God more. We prayed about it. We discussed it. We'll put it in God's hands. The couple finally agreed to tithe before paying bills. What happened next was not what they expected. Paul called and told Pamela he had lost his job as a retail manager. There was a lot of concern when it came to uh, towards the financial situation in our household. Pamela tried to convince Paul to tithe on his unemployment checks and on her part-time job, but Paul disagreed. So I was thinking there's no way. There's no way. I didn't want to. Still, Paul reluctantly let Pamela tithe, and each month they had enough to get by. They even had some unusual resources. A friend of ours through our church he just mentioned something to his bosses. All of a sudden, their boss for Christmas adopted us, one of six families that they do once a year. And our Christmas was taken care of. Three months later, Paul got a management job in the construction business, making more than he had made working in retail. God reached out. It was just amazing. I was both excited and relieved. Not long after Paul started his new job, he received a raise. Several more raises followed. Each time, Paul and Pamela faithfully increase their giving. When I step out in faith, he has stepped out even more. When I lean upon the Lord, he supports. You can trust him. You can trust him with your finances. You can trust him with your life. If you're already trusting him with eternity, can't you trust him with just the money you have? When you start giving, then you kick into these wonderful promises where he provides for you. He gives increase. He gives you the power to get wealth. He does all of these things for you because you were faithful in giving. If you want to start giving, if you want to take an adventure in giving, call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day, and you join with tens of thousands of people that want to make a difference. If you want to be a part of everything we're doing, Call, the, call us right now, join the 700 Club. Terry? Well, when you do join the 700 Club, you are helping people around the world and here at home. One of them is a young student who is getting the opportunity of a lifetime, thanks to people like you. 
I can't explain in words how ecstatic I am about being in college. I don't know how to feel sometimes. I just look around the campus saying, I'm really here. Chastity Banks just finished her freshman year at Fisk University. As a first-generation college student, she had some major obstacles to overcome. Chastity was raised in a single-parent household with an alcoholic mother. She is also from the notorious Fraser community of Memphis, Tennessee. Grew up in the Fraser community. It was a lot of gang violence, and a lot of times we didn't have like the best school. A lot of my friends were mothers at a very young age. In the seventh grade, Chastity heard about Youth Visions, a CBN-supported ministry. Tori Thomas is the education director. The hope is that we can expose them earlier to uh, the rigorous coursework. We can expose them to the college admissions process. And the earlier they're exposed to the process, the better off they'll be when it's time to actually make those decisions come the 12th grade. It pushes me to want more. It pushes me to study a little harder because I know where I came from and where I don't want to go back to. A grant from CBN has helped Youth Visions keep and expand their college preparatory and college tour programs. Just having the grant money, just having CBN, just having the necessary mentors to come in will give kids the opportunity to do stuff, to go to college, to want to give back to that community so that community can be changed. And the grant has helped me because I see that someone believes in me. Opportunity, hope change lives. That's what it's all about. Will you help us bring that, not just to people here at home, but literally around the world? How does that work? Well, you join the 700 Club. That's a commitment of 65 cents a day. That's just $20 a month. It means you join thousands of people who are wanting to make the same kind of commitment, make the same kind of difference in people's lives. That's why we're asking you right now to join with us. Let me show you the different club levels. I just told you about a general 700 Club membership, but we also have 700 Club Gold. Those are folks who join us with a gift of $40 a month. Then we have the 1,000 Club members. They join us at $84 a month. Our 2,500 Club members, that breaks down to $209 a month. Our founders are $5,000 a year or $417 a month. And for people who are able and want to give more, we have a chairman's circle. They give $10,000 or more a year. Ask God what he would have you to do, but do something to make a difference. The power of one person to make a difference is immeasurable. Go to your phone and call right now. Our number's toll free, 1-800-759-0700. Just call and say, I want to join the 700 Club. You can also do that by logging on to CBN.com. Gordon? Well, let's check in with the red number. We've got 50,000 to go on a $250,000 challenge. Just five minutes and 12 seconds to make it. We need to hear from you, and we're going to take the red number down here. Tulsa, Oklahoma, 700 Club Gold member saying, I want to go to Founder. Awesome. Founder this year, $5,000. La Quinta, California, Founder through Pledge Express, $6,000. That takes us all the way down to 39 with just four minutes to go. We need to hear from you, so call us, 1-800-759-0700. We're asking you to take an adventure in giving to test God, to prove him. Prove that give, and he will give unto you. You can do that easily. Just call that toll-free number, 1-800-759-0700. Well, while most of Daisy's friends were looking forward to high school graduation, she was giving birth to a baby boy. Wondering how she would support him alone. When Daisy took a fashion design class a few years ago in high school, she knew that's what she wanted to do with her life. But just before she graduated, Daisy got pregnant and had a baby. My parents were kind and let me live at home, but they said I had to work to buy diapers, formula, and clothes for my baby. So I went to work at a grocery store working 11 to 12 hours a day, six days a week. But even working that many hours, Daisy still didn't make enough to provide for her son. I wanted to find another job, but I just didn't have the time. Plus, I didn't know how or where to look. When we learned about this hardworking teen, we enrolled her in a sewing class sponsored by Operation Blessing. I began going to classes and it was a lot of fun. I didn't miss a single one because I was really enjoying what I was learning. Daisy took the classes for four months and graduated best in her class. And because her skills were so good, Operation Blessing was able to get her a better job where she's making twice as much as she did at the grocery store. You are helping my son and me to have a bright future. Truly, I want to thank you for what you have done. 
We want to help people have a hope, have a future. That's the plan God has for all his children. And you can be a part of providing that. Imagine giving hope to people around the world. If you want to do that, call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Just say yes. I want to join everything you're doing around the world. We've got 26,000 left on a $250,000 challenge. We need to hear from you, so call us right now. Terry? Well, if you're a CBN partner, you're changing lives in places like China, where you helped us stop an outbreak of hepatitis in an orphanage. When Shaolin, Yin Lan, and Yin Jun met at the Long Fu boarding school, nothing could separate them until two of the girls were rushed to the hospital. Shaolin was afraid. How I wished that I could be the one who got sick instead of my two dear friends. It wasn't long before Shaolin came down with the same symptoms as her friends and was taken to the hospital too. The doctor gave us transfusions and we had to rest. We couldn't eat and felt tired all the time. Doctors confirmed that the girls had contracted hepatitis A from bad drinking water at school. The source of the water was an old cistern in the mountains. The school desperately needed a filter, but that would cost one half of the school's annual budget, and they were barely able to run the school with the limited resources they had. So despite their best efforts, it looked like there was no way they could avoid a mass outbreak of hepatitis A among the rest of the students. That's when a staff member called CBN. We quickly provided a water purification filter for the entire school. And for the first time ever, the drinking water there was safe. The hepatitis epidemic had been stopped. Now our water is clean and no one will ever have to worry about getting hepatitis in the future. Thank you, CBN. Reaching out in need to make a difference, that's what you're doing. Please join us. Call right now. Gordon? Okay, if we can get the red number up, we're, uh, we're counting down to victory on this one, but we still have 11,000 to go. So call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. We don't want to miss any part of this challenge. We're going to take it down by... $5,100. Fort Mill, South Carolina. Founder coming in. 32 seconds. Uh, that takes us down to three. Uh, down to one. And whoa. Somebody got happy fingers real quick. Okay. Um, leave the green number up. I like it. Green number's good. Green's good. Green's good. Red's bad. 14 seconds left on this challenge. We're going to count everything on the phones. It's been a wonderful morning. Um, $250,000 challenge. If, if you're having trouble getting in on the phones, all you have to do is log on to CBN.com. Uh, you can give electronically on the internet um, and automatically sign up for Pledge Express. Well, we had a $250,000 challenge, and against that you gave, I bet you can guess the number. <laughs> $257,000. We leave you today with the words of Jesus from John 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. God bless you. Our world moves at an incredible pace. People everywhere rushing to their destinations. But there's a destiny that awaits each one of us. And all of us will face life's ultimate question. Where will I spend eternity? In his new DVD, Life Beyond the Grave, Pat Robertson introduces you to real people with remarkable stories of heaven and riveting accounts of hell. You'll learn what the Bible has to say about life after death. The Bible tells us that eye has not seen, nor ear heard, nor mind conceived, what God has prepared for those who love Him. Life Beyond the Grave will build your faith as God's promises come alive, prepare you to face your eternity, and provide you with a powerful witnessing tool to share with your loved ones. I want you to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that your destiny is sealed forever in heaven. Is there life after death? And I began to rise out of my body up into that room. Are heaven and hell real places? I can see fields, crystal clear river, trees along both sides. What determines where I go when I die? I knew that the first person I saw was Jesus. 
Discover the answers to life's most important questions in the 700 Club's Life Beyond the Grave. Real stories from the 700 Club. Available now.